We have a very exciting situation here, everyone. There's some wild dogs, brilliant stuff, but also just through there, two leopards that Mike thinks are Hosanna and Shongile. Now it's going to get bumpy. It's going to be a little bit difficult to move through here. There's the other dogs on top of this termite mound there. And the leopards will be trying to hide from these dogs and the dogs will be trying to get hold of them. Hitting. Whoa, look at this. I know it's not quite. The Who's who? This is unbelievable stuff. I know the signal is a bit dodgy here. I'm sorry about that. I just want to get to a position where we can see the other one as well. Oh, look at this. This is just phenomenal stuff. I can't see the other one. Can you, Craig? Uh, yes, the leopard. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up in the tree. Uh, oh. It was, hey? This is quite phenomenal stuff. Dogs on the ground underneath. I am going to... Who is this now? There's blood on this leopard in the tree in front of us. This, that leopard in the tree has been had at. It's been, it's got blood all over its um, neck. I can't see who that is. Any help would be greatly appreciated, but these leopards are now safe for now. There we go, who is that? Any ideas? That's a three four. Hello. Okay, now I'm going to move slightly, just get round the other side. Megan, you say, are the dogs trying to attack the leopards? Absolutely they are. The dogs will kill the leopards if they can get hold of them. And I think you'll find that the leopard lying in the tree over there has been attacked already. And that's why she's got blood all the way down her front. Now, I can't actually see the dogs anymore. The grass is so long through here. But I'm sure they must be around because the leopards are lurking in these trees. You right? You got the dogs. There's a dog. Now. Muhammad, you say, what are a group of wild dogs called? They're called a pack. Does every... I don't know who these leopards are, everyone. I would love to know from you. We had reports of them being Shongile and Hosanna. I'm 90% sure that that is not the case. Yeah, the dog running, running to the base of the tree now. Other leopard coming down or thinking about coming down. I don't know who these leopards are. This is phenomenal. It's absolutely astounding. 
Yeah, the stations, this is not Chungil and Hosanna, I'm not sure who they are. Uh, it looks like two youngsters to me. Looks like two young leopards. The one in the tree there don't look that young. No, that's not a young leopard. That one up top there that I'm looking at, that is just peeping its head out of the sun. That thing Kanyeni, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go with Inkanyeni on that. Yeah, and Aqua, you reckon this is Inkanyeni and Vutomi? Yeah, I would agree. And stations looks like one of these animals is Inkanyeni, so I'm assuming the other one's a cub. This is just fantastic. Now the dogs are just asleep there, as you can see, fast asleep, and now they're waiting, and the leopards must wait as well, and we must keep our distance, because this, as many of you will know, I have told a story of being uh, in a very precarious position with a leopard on top of the vehicle, and that was a situation exactly like this, when dogs got, here yeah, she's coming down, where dogs harassed a leopard to the point that it got so angry it jumped onto the car. I think that's in Kanyeni. It looks like a 4-4 four, four female with that scuffed ear. Good grief, this is fantastic stuff. And we've got a question about how long I think the wild dogs will wait for the leopards to come down. I'm, I have no idea, I'm afraid, at this stage. Sometimes they'll just get up and go, you know, they'll go and find something to eat. And sometimes they will wait patiently. If they've just eaten, they'll wait patiently. The leopards, of course, are the ultimately patient animals. And while the leopards are probably faster, straight line speed, they won't have the stamina of the dogs. And I mean, it would be much better for them to find a better tree than the one they're in now. I mean, they're stuck in these sort of scraggly silver cluster leaves. Now, Alana, you're wondering if the leopards aren't much stronger than the wild dogs. Are the dogs up? Absolutely they are. But... They are not prepared to take a risk. They cannot afford to take a risk. If they get injured, they will never eat again. The dogs, of course, are not in that position. The dogs are able to take risks because they live in a pack. Jeepers, this is amazing. They live in a pack, and so they look after each other when they get injured. An injured leopard is a leopard that cannot eat, that cannot hunt. Now, the dogs are moving off towards the north now. I think you might find the leopards come down. This is the most phenomenal stuff. Here comes the dog again, closer to us now. I don't know where the other dog is. There are three of them. Have you got the others? I think it's just the two of them there, yeah. Wow. Let's 
it's maybe um, I might sneak forward just th two meters just so that we can see into that tree there go ahead Shana. I'll see what I can do. They're very thick trees at the moment, Sinead. Yeah, Sinead's just asking. She said she saw Nkaneli yesterday and it looked like she had suckle marks on her. This is amazing stuff. Would, would all of you agree that that is Nkaneli? And White Lady A1, you say if Nkaneli is supposed to have new cubs, why would Vutomi still be with her? The answer is, um, well, he's not quite independent yet, and so it's not unusual for that to happen every so often, for a young male especially to be still in the territory with his mother, and yeah, so it's not, that's, that wouldn't be that unusual. But I've seen Inkanyeni once, in my, or twice in my life, so I mean, I'm pretty sure that that's who that is. That's who we're looking at. I've never meet, met Votomi before. That's I, who I assume that is over there. This is just brilliant. The dogs moving slowly through the grass. I'm just not sure how long we're going to have here. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to find it on the radio while you look. Mike, come in. Mike, confirm any one Chitwa vehicle allowed on CP at a time. Okay, copy. So will you just let me know if I need to leave? Look, look, look. Ooh! Straight up into the air. This is phenomenal stuff. Trying desperately to get at that poor little leopard. And make no mistake, if they did catch the leopard, they would they would cop a hell of a beating at the same time. Oh, they've just gone down through there. Yeah. So what happened was they came across these wild dogs and I think two leopards were in a tree or something and they got down. Let's just move a little bit forward, everyone. Leopard looks like she's going to come down. I'm just going to move into a position where hopefully Craig will have a slightly better view. Okay, there you go. So James, Richard and Chris, you're confirming for me that this is Nkanyeni. Have you got her there? Just up a bit? You should be able to get ahead. I think the dogs are moving south. Let me move forward, Craig. Is it actually a shot of her face from where I'm sitting? There. Oh, uh, I see my lower angle is allowing a view of her face. Uh, sorry, everybody. Maybe I shouldn't have moved, but we're we just going to wait for her to come down. Now Sandy, you're wondering which one is hurt. For Tommy, to me, looks like he's got blood on him. There he is. He's now looking out of the tree at us.
Whew. That was tremendously exciting. Now the dogs will sometimes pull a little bit of a ruse. I can just see them through there, through the long grass, and they'll kind of pull out and pretend that they're not interested. The leopards will come down and then they'll come in again, and that's exactly what happened earlier on. Let me reverse back slightly. Wow. I tell you, I have my heart in my mouth for these things. I don't... I don't really like it, to be honest, because it's... There's such a vicious conflict going on here. And the chances of something being really unpleasant for either the dogs or the leopards are, of course, really strong. There's the leopard now sitting in the tree. And then we had a question about whether wild dogs are dangerous to human beings. And the answer is no. Megan, they're not dangerous to dogs, at least to human beings, at all. Whew. I tell you, we're going to stay with the leopards because the dogs, I'm afraid, are moving through some very, very thick bush. Well, lightning guy, here's your answer. You say, ah, lightning, ah, <laughs> lightning guy. You say, ah, wild dogs predator prey for any other animal. Well, wild dog pups, absolutely to leopard. And leopard will actively seek out wild dog dens when the adults are away hunting. And I, that's the situation that I witnessed that one time of where we ended up with that leopard male on the bonnet of the car. Leopard was looking for the dog den, was sniffing around it, and the adults came back and they got hold of him. Right, the little one, no, he's thinking he's coming down the tree. He's looking to see the dogs. The fact that the that he's not down yet tells me that perhaps the dogs are actually still around and he can see them. I'm pretty sure she can see them. It's not just this wild sense of euphoria in a sighting like this. There really is a heart-in-the-mouth kind of worry that one feels. Oh, isn't this wonderful? And look at that picture of the little leopard with his head down through through the trees. <laughs> I'm hoping that he'll come along and we'll be able to get a better look at perhaps what has injured him and if he has been injured. Now his mother is still staring out beyond the tree that he's standing in, so I don't know that those dogs have gone. And please excuse my head getting into the picture every so often. I'm trying to s sit as low as possible but still see what's going on here. The beauty of Cheetah Plains is that only one Chitwit vehicle is allowed here, so we can stay for a while. Paul, you say if one of the leopard was attacked, would the other one help? Well, I don't think that the cub would help its mum. I think maybe the mum might try and help the cub, except that this cub is a little bit old now. Does anyone know exactly how old Vutomi is? But I think, yeah, there may be a little bit of help, but remember, very, very few animals out here will sacrifice their lives for their youngsters because, of course, it means if, if they die, well, then there's no point because the cub will die anybody. And so this leopard is only 18 months old. Here he comes. Now the dogs 
would have heard that if they'd been stopped and not moving. He's going towards his mum, towards the tree that she's in. And of course this grass is so long. Here, yeah, she's coming down now. She comes. Whoa, big jump. Now let's see what happens when they meet up. Oh, they're running now together. No, just a little greeting, little greeting ceremony. Okay, let's move. Hey, wasn't this special? <laughs> of course, to follow them through this grass, not an easy task. Now that tree in front of us would have been a far better option. They're in amongst the blackjack bushes here. I can just see them moving or wobbling. They're obviously having a little bit of a sort of rekindling moment in amongst the trees there. Probably a bit of grooming. They are in such thick bush though. I just don't want to disturb them. All right, while we catch up with what's going on here, let's head across to Brent and find out what's going on there.